about 3.6 million eligible voters in Albania and abroad voted to elect 140 lawmakers for a four-year mandate in the Balkan nation. An exit poll suggested that the ruling Socialist Party was in a tight race with the opposition Democratic Party. The process had a calm situation, security, and integrity, and there was hope that post-communist Albania's 10th parliamentary election would be free and fair. Prime Minister Edi Rama of the Socialists, who were seeking their third consecutive mandate, wanted to boost Albanian efforts in tourism, energy, agriculture, and digital projects. Lozambasha of the Democrats accused the government of corruption and links to organized crime, and he pledged lower taxes, higher salaries, and more social support. According to preliminary results, the Socialist Party won with 74 of the 140 seats. Albania, a NATO member since 2009, is looking forward to launching full membership negotiations with the EU later this year, and the election is considered a key step on that path.